hi it's friday and it's the afternoon it's like just about to be six o'clock it's 5 49 and i figured like i have to go run to the store to go grab a couple things but i was on pinterest the other day and i came across this dish that was just absolutely like it looks so good and it's a tiktok don't even look like carrots They're carrot fries. Olive oil, chili powder, garlic, smoked paprika, and corn flour. It's at 180 degrees for 45 minutes. Top with parsley, salt and pepper, enjoy. I mean, wow. Those look so good. I just like keep thinking about them. So I have to go to the grocery store anyway to just like grab a few things for my house. So I figured I would make that for dinner. Um, the carrot fries. And then I was thinking about making some turkey burgers i really am craving a turkey burger for some reason like i feel like i need turkey i keep thinking about turkey so um the only thing is that i don't know if i can find gluten-free buns so um i think the only other bun i can tolerate is like the brioche buns um so i'm probably gonna do a turkey burger this is kind of like a cheat meal for me too like usually like on the weekends like friday saturday Sunday I'm a little bit more laid back with my diet although this week I really wasn't this week I really wasn't that great with my diet like I meal prepped and I did really good but I did snack quite a bit and then last night my girlfriends came over and my sister and we um, had a piece of cake and that was like kind of a cheat for me but um yeah so I figured I would just like kind of enjoy having Fridays off again because I was working Friday nights for like three months and our four months and now I have Friday nights off again and I'm really trying not to go out and spend money that I shouldn't be spending um so I figured I would like cook something nice maybe watch a movie or watch like sex in the city or just like download a movie off of Apple TV and like I don't know just like hang out chill by myself maybe have a cocktail so let's go to the store I'm gonna show you guys the fries as well like I'm gonna try to make them this will be like a good experiment to see if I can actually get those fries to look as crispy and like delicious because wow they look so crunchy I'm like such a crunch person I don't know if you guys are crunch people but yeah um also too I wanted to show you guys I'm super late to the game when it comes to the Fenty eavesdrops but quite honestly I wanted them as soon as they hit because everyone was just like talking about them and being like oh my god the Fenty eavesdrops are amazing and so I had to wait for them to come back in stock on Sephora and they finally came in the mail and I used them today that's the only reason why I did my makeup today because I'm literally not going anywhere but the grocery store but I really wanted to try that new um I guess it's like a skin tint yeah it's just like a blurring skin tint and then underneath the skin tint i went and used the wet and wild and possible um primer base that's all i put on i didn't put on any other skincare underneath it and i actually really like it i feel like my skin looks super radiant and glowy and it doesn't look like i have on a ton of foundation and i'm just really digging this fenty like you ever buy a makeup product and you're just like i could literally throw away all of my other foundations and all of my other skin tints because this one is literally just something I can see myself mixing with sunscreen during the day or just wearing it at night. And I mean, it's just such a lovely product. I can't get over it. So yeah, I'm sure you guys have heard of this so many, so much by now. I'm sure you're tired of probably hearing about this, but it is actually a kick-ass product. So, and then I was also watching a vlog of this woman who's in her 50s, but her whole channel is about like, skincare and she tests products she tests like red lights for the skin she tests like a bunch of different like just skincare things and then she reviews them and tells you what the best is so she did the best concealers for over i believe 50 years old and then i thought i'm like well if that concealer works for someone who's over 50 then it must look really good on someone who's under 40 so i ended up purchasing it and um one of the main reasons why I got this concealer, it's the Lancome Tint Adol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer, is because you guys know my go-to Becca concealer, the Aqualuminous, even though I do have a backup of it that I got off eBay, 
um becca's discontinued and that is like my holy grail concealer so i figured i could try to like find a concealer that i like just as much as the becca so i could like have something in mind and i was like oh i probably i won't like it i'll probably end up like end up returning it but i think it actually looks better than the becca i feel like it's a lot more brightening and just a lot more sheer and it just kind of looks like i'm not wearing a shit ton of concealer underneath my eyes and i got the color i think it's just called bisque my eyes are so bad it just says b s b i s n neutral so i think it is bisque i threw away the package because i was like i'm keeping it so but anyway if you're looking for a concealer this one blew my mind i just love it and the way it's set underneath powder is literally goals so i'm just gonna grab my bag and head to the store and i'm gonna show you guys everything that i get i need to actually write down the ingredients for those carrot sticks because knowing me i'll forget one thing and i'll be pissed off so i'm gonna watch the video again and, and write it down before i head out <laughs> actually forgot that I needed to get gas and I'm on empty. wash the carrots and then after I wash them I'm gonna peel them and I'm probably not gonna do all of these carrots I'll probably just do like four or five and then store the rest Final product. Don't the fries look so good? I improvised a little bit with the fried, with the the carrot fries, and I added some panko breadcrumbs just to make it a little bit more crispier. And then on top, I have some Italian parsley and some grated parmesan, like the dried parmesan. And then instead of getting a um, brioche bun, I just use Italian loaf that I have because I know for sure it's gluten free. I put some jalapenos, jack cheese, turkey burger. And then I actually cut one of the pieces of bread in half just to save on carbs. And I'm just going to add a little bit of ketchup. And that's basically it. Okay, post meal. Oh my gosh. So good. The turkey burger was just like so buttery and just like perfect. I liked it with the pepper jack cheese and the arugula and the jalapenos. I'm looking a bit oily right now, so forgive me. My forehead's like super greasy because I was like cooking and grease. I'm about to wash my face. But... I ended up really loving the carrot fries. I'm gonna make that dish a lot more. I wanna make it for my friends and my family so they can try it too. I just think it's like a fun dish to make that's like crunchy enough to kind of, you know, make you feel like you had fries, but um, they have a lot of good flavor. They're just like super good. So I'm gonna definitely make those again. And I feel like if I had a better oven, like my oven gauge, like I can't even tell how hot the temperature is half the time in my oven because it's so old. Um, Sorry if I have carrot stuck in my teeth. But yeah, um, yeah, it was such a good meal. And I decided to watch, I'm watching The Real Housewives, powerful. <laughs> I'm watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and this season is so good because it's like, I don't know if you guys watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but it's like Erica Jane is getting a divorce from her like super old attorney husband and it's like all this drama around the marriage so it's like kind of interesting to watch this season unfold um but i've decided tomorrow that i'm gonna get up 
early, probably like six o'clock in the morning, maybe five o'clock in the morning. What time is it right now? It's nine. I'll probably go to bed at like 10.30. Let my food digest for like an hour. And then I'm gonna go to the beach tomorrow. Um, early in the morning because I have been thinking about it so much. I used to like go to the beach all the time by myself. It's actually gonna be quite cold tomorrow, but I think that's actually gonna be good because, um, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be 70 degrees at the beach tomorrow because I just wanna kinda like go early in the morning and just kind of like have a little time to myself and just relax and just change my scenery up, you know? Like, I feel like I do the same things on the weekends, <clears throat> which is usually work. And I have a couple days off and I just haven't done literally anything in so long. So I think I'm gonna take a drive and I might even like grab breakfast somewhere out in Malibu or something like that. Just kind of just chill by myself. So I'm gonna go to the beach, but I'm gonna wear a hoodie <laughs> and probably shorts and like a hoodie just so it's like I'm comfy. Um, probably just lay out on the sand for like an hour and then before I go, like probably grab a coffee, lay out on the sand for like an hour and just like have some me time. So I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Morning! It is Saturday, August the 21st and I'm just sitting in my car. I have on my gel eye patches because I just wanted to give my under eyes some moisture. I'm getting like started a lot later than I thought that I was because I slept in because my legs have just been so sore the last two days from leg day. And like when I woke up at five, I woke up at like five this morning, I could just feel my hamstrings. Even though I stretched yesterday and like I did like literally like 30 minutes of like stretching and just chill, I got in the sauna, I'm still sore. So I went back to sleep and they actually do feel a little less tight. Um, it's 8.30, I'm trying to decide what beach I wanna go to. I don't know if I wanna go to Huntington Beach or if I wanna drive to Malibu. I feel like Malibu would probably be a little bit nicer and like less people. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm struggling. I made myself a little coffee just for the drive and I already know that I'm gonna stop and get another one. In 800 feet, keep left to continue on California 110. Okay guys, I just made it to Zuma Beach. I was gonna stop in Malibu. Well, I think, I don't know if it's like, I think I'm in Zuma Beach, but anyway, I found a Starbucks and I'm so excited that I found a Starbucks. Okay guys, I am home from the beach day. It's been a few hours. I just like painted my nails. I just like painted my nails and gave myself a little bit of a manicure. This is the Lincoln Park After Dark. I don't know if you guys remember that color from OPI, but it was such a huge color when it came out. Probably, I wanna say probably over 10 years ago, but I've been trying to just like baby my nails because I took my acrylics off like three, weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and I've been just trying to go with the natural nails but keep them painted. But I wanted to show you guys, I got some salmon um, the other day and I, I already did eat a little bit of it, but I feel like prepping the rest for dinner. And I wanted to show you guys, um, this is just like the barbecue cut Atlantic salmon. I wanted to show you guys how I make my salmon. Super quick, super easy. I use black pepper, pink Himalayan sea salt. I don't know why this thing does not want to focus today. Pink Himalayan sea salt. I use the black garlic from Trader Joe's and then I also use the best spice of all time, the smokehouse maple. And I cut a lemon and I just squeeze the lemon on top of the salmon and I use a local honey from I believe this is from Ralph's. It says it's local, authentic, but it doesn't say from where. It's from Colorado. So local Colorado honey. Um, so I just basically season 
my salmon. Look at my cute little cutting board. I'm so happy that I got this little cutting board because all I had was like that big one over there. And sometimes I just didn't want that much of a cutting board when I'm doing stuff. So I got this one today from Big Lots and I'm really happy about this purchase. It was $2.50. Okay, so basically this is what the salmon looks like before I put it in the oven at 400. I usually cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes in the oven and then I will put it in the broiler for maybe like four or five minutes to just kind of blacken the top or just kind of like make the top a little bit more um, crispy or blackened. And I squeeze a lot of lemon on the salmon as well because I love lemon. <laughs> I haven't changed my sign. I think it's like the 22nd. Actually, I think it's the 22nd. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know what day it is. That's more like it. This is such a good creamer if you like hazelnut. It's like a very natural, like tasting hazelnut. Morning coffee. just woke up my face is just so wrinkled um I'll make myself a coffee and like light a bunch of candles and then get back in bed and then journal for a little bit and listen to some music and just relax but I feel like that's what I'm gonna do right now just try to wake up and journal I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend vlog and just hang out with me and like I kept it really chill this weekend I didn't go out at all just like stayed in and just kind of chilled so give it a thumbs up let me know you like the vlog and i'll keep making weekend vlogs if you like them <laughs> okay bye